Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. NBA Live dropped a secondary trailer. We're going to go ahead and react to that. But I was at EA Play on the first day and I did play NBA Live 18. So it's time for me to give you guys my review, how the game feels, hands on. So we're going to go ahead and react to a trailer. Then we're going to, you know, segue into the actual hands on review. Let's get it. Okay, I've seen that Steph Curry dribble move before. Nice layup, a little bit of contact. Ooh, Euro. NBA Live 18 okay. is an all new way Ooh, to Jimmy. Seen that clip before, Center though. You, your journey is defined by the choices you make. Okay, Los Welcome Angeles and friends. The one. Seattle. The one okay, unleashes the freedom to play how and with whom you want. Streets Here, in the league. The respect you earn on the streets matters just as much as the rings you earn in the league. Rise through the ranks in the league. It looked like the Cavs going to win the playoffs, man. They got these dudes set up to play as the Cavs against Golden State. I don't know. Is the NBA rigged? Wing scorer. Okay. Is that a signature ability? Rules and how you earn respect are different. Team up with friends to take down NBA legends. That crowd look immersive. Throughout your journey, your encore performance. They range shot. Oh, what up, dribbling going up? And new gear. Okay, new gear. Oh, you don't have to buy sneakers. You can unlock sneakers. And everywhere in between, join the community with five-on-five -five pickup games at iconic okay. real-world courts. Hit All right, five-on-five pickup games and Drew League. Wow, so NBA sure Drew League and the streets style. from East Coast to West Coast, from the streets to the league. Wow, matters. three different paths. Defined by you and how you and all this play. is multiplayer. This is your world. Co-op, online, offline. The one. The one. Hmm. All right, guys. So your boy played NBA Live 18. Oh yeah. By the way, did you guys like the trailer? I liked it. It was pretty good. Um, but, but one thing that I can say, the trailer doesn't do the game justice. Um, I know that a lot of people want to know, you know, my my full review. They want to actually see me playing it hands on. But what I can tell you is. Every screenshot, every trailer that's been coming out for NBA Live, it doesn't do the game justice. And, and what I mean by that is, when I got my hands on the game, there were two things that I immediately noticed. The gameplay was a little bit slow, which I did announce to a dev. Also, there were a few different animations, such as shooting, because um, you know they got the different uh, shot bar where the bar is vertical. And it goes all the way up, and then that's how you get your green release. So I was noticing at the peak of everybody's shot, they were like, release it like that. And that's because you're holding it so long to get to that green release with some jump shots that when it's going up, it's going up somewhat slow. So the first thing that I did was I changed the game speed to 90. Now, the gameplay was originally set at 75, but when I changed it to 90, it felt so much more fluid. I didn't want to turn it up to 100 because I, I didn't want guys moving around all crazy, but changing the game speed definitely changed the flow of the game. The second thing, the camera view. The camera view was set onto like a little broadcast type of look where you know you're looking at it like this, not straight up and down. But what I did was I changed that to baseline. And baseline is more of a like a, uh, up and down flow. So when we changed the baseline, it zoomed in on the players and the graphics look really good. Like they've done a lot in the last two years to fix the graphics. Um, I was looking at player body types. A few player body types were still a little off. I guess um, either they got to work on the body scanning or, you know, somebody just has to, you know, make it known that, hey, that guy's not that muscular or that guy's a little bit more full in life. But in real life, players compared to game players are always going to kind of be a little off because say such as a player as LeBron James, right? He'll cut weight. And then, like, right before a season, he'll bulk up. So, it's like, you might body scan this dude in, like, May. And he might be in optimal shape because he's about to go into the playoffs. But if you scan him in, like, September, he's not, you know, all the way back in basketball shape yet. So, it's like, he'll cut weight to drop down and, you know, detox and all of that. And he'll be skinny as a, a, a mug. So, it's like, it, it's definitely much different. So, body scanning is definitely going to have to, you know, be addressed a little bit. Uh, opposed to in real life guys to, you know, the game and stuff. Um, now, let's talk about dribbling. 
dribbling everything works from the right stick right so um you can do crossovers you can do spin moves you can do step backs you can do hezzies you can do all kinds of various dribble moves in order to do them the right way you have to chain them together but your stamina if you're not a dribbler your stamina is going to run out quick and your moves are going to be extremely slow and you might get your cookies taken so one thing that i did notice is um what i would do is i had Kyrie irving i was spamming dribble moves to see if somebody would steal the ball from him and in two drew league games they only stole the ball from me one time from me spamming it and i was playing on superstar that's the hardest difficulty in the game but i'm not sure what the game style was on i'm not sure if it was on arcade simulation or custom or anything like that now the next thing layups layups will have to be addressed um, matter of fact, everything we're going to talk about this, but everything in the paint is going to have to be addressed. Um, I was going to the rack with Kyrie, and let me tell you guys, his layups, What I don't know what kind of package he has. I don't even know if he has a package, but trust me, best thing about that game is Kyrie Irving's layups, bruh. He got the sauce. I'm just going to go ahead and say it right here, right now in this video. Kyrie has the sauce in NBA Live 18. Now, check this out. When I mean everything has to be addressed in the paint, I was passing it down in the paint to people like DeAndre Jordan getting contested layups. I can understand Boogie. I was passing it down to him getting contested layups. But I'm thinking like DeAndre, bro, you don't, you don't supposed to be getting contested layups like that. So what I noticed is in back down animations, you definitely want to not press the triangle button for blocking too early and you don't want to press it too late it's, it's really a crazy timing thing because once a player goes into their shot if you're playing a guy online you won't be able to see his shot meter rise because he might do like a turnaround and try to do like a, a floater or a fadeaway so it's really you really have to like time it perfectly or you're getting scored on every time so i don't know if that's something that they can tune or tweak um but remember we were playing on superstar so i'm not sure if it was user versus user or if it was the simple fact that you know it's a timing thing so but things in the in the paint will have to be addressed because it was kind of easy jump shots though jump shots were looking pretty good um except for that little when you're trying to get like a green release they kind of like release it real fast at the at the peak of their shot just to get it out their hands so that's that's one thing but um jump shots other than that looking good Contested jump shots, new, not too many of them went in. Only certain players that have like a dead eye type of trait, you know, made those shots. Like Clay Thompson in the corner, he was making his contested shots, but he didn't go into a contested animation. He still did his standard jump shot in the corner with somebody running to him. Um, but I did notice after the shot, though, um, he would like hop on one leg. Or he would land and like you know fall or something like that if somebody was coming too close. But um, we were playing in the Drew League, so it wasn't no free throws. But um, when I did play an NBA game, I did see an one three, and it, it was pretty good. Um, let's see, dunks. Oh my God, LeBron James, a uh, Greek freak, are monsters in this game when it comes to dunks, guys. They dunk on just about anybody, just about anybody that steps up to them. They they dunk on them bad, it, like extremely bad. Um, but um russell westbrook another person that can dunk but he did get his dunks blocked a couple times um the timing is definitely there kevin Durant dunked it a couple times um he's just tall as heck uh, I, like i was trying to block him with like people like harden like we would switch off a pick or something like that because he's he's playing uh power forward in the drew league and they would switch off and it's like a terrible mismatch if you get past me it's a gg one thing i did notice though um when playing the computer on superstar if you get past the defender the defense kind of collapses when you get to the paint and i remember telling you guys that the paint is something that's going to have to be addressed but i noticed that the paint definitely collapsed whereas though um say for instance i have a guy moving over to the three and i take a guy baseline but i cut inside to the middle of the floor like i take him baseline shove him that way with like a crossover and then come back around to the middle if that person was supposed to be in the paint for help defense he kind of slides over more to favor the don't give up the three if you know what i mean so that's just how that works um what else uh, as far as like collisions and stuff like that, the collisions are looking pretty good. Um, I notice when it's collisions, though, some players give off like some of the same feel. But I know when you trigger celebrations and stuff from from collisions and contact, um, I like the whole replay system. Like uh, I remember getting a collision with James Harden 
and I got up and he did like a nice little animation but then I came down court and that happened with Russell Westbrook and he kind of gave off the same animation I'm not sure if they have like dope signature animations like immersed throughout the whole NBA but I remember shooting a three-pointer with Steph Curry and he did his joint you know what I'm saying that was a, that was an easy animation uh, I think Harden threw up this joint for the three but I don't think I seen the uh the sauce joint. I don't know. It's, I got to I gotta play it again, though. But uh, is there anything that I missed? Uh, uh, top, top three things that I liked about NBA Live before we get out of here. Uh, the graphics are much better. Kyrie Irving's layup package I want. I don't know what layup package he has. I don't know if it's from you just raising your layup attribute, but I want that. An NBA Live for my creative player. Um, what else? The third thing that I liked, the ankle breakers, man. Let I almost forgot about those, but the ankle breakers look pretty good. If you trying to D up user versus user, you you gonna get cracked a lot. Like, don't sit up there and think like, oh, oh, I'm going, I'm going to get you. I'm not. If you, it's if there's space between you and a person does a crossover and you don't cut them off in enough time they gonna hurt them ankles and they gonna get past you but i noticed with the body collision you can get past a person unless they deny you so say you're playing defense right and this is you playing defense and the person wants to go that way if your bodies collide and you see that he's starting to go that way and you flick your trigger that way it'll give you like a green bar under your dude and it'll be like perfect like that's like perfect defense for you cutting him off but not fouling him you know what i'm saying and then it, it goes vice versa so it, it's really dope but um i hope you guys enjoyed this on hands review it definitely looked went way longer than it was supposed to i thought it was going to be like a five minute hands-on but i had to give you guys everything man um basically nba live is moving in the right direction um, a lot of people are probably going to be in the comment sections like, uh, it's not 2K or it's not. Don't think about it like that. You guys have been watching NBA Playgrounds on my channel for, what, a couple weeks now? And you guys are in love with it. So you have to think EA is making a different game. You can't compare it. You can't say it's, why, it's not better or that's not better or I want this and that game or I want that in this game. Don't think about it like that. Uh, my next video will be on Playstyles. We need to talk EA. We're we going to have a real long talk about these play styles. But I hope you guys enjoyed this hands-on review. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.